Hello guys, welcome to Super Watches channel. Omega watches are known for their excellence in both design and function. They're an investment, but they are known to last decades. Today's video will go through the top Omega watches that you can buy this year. I've included links in the description below for further information on the goods. Let us begin without further ado. Number 1. Seamaster Pro Prof 1200 meters. The Seamaster is a diver's watch, as its name implies. Most Seamaster watches have a water resistance of 300 meters, but the Ploprof 1200 meter are designed for individuals who want to dive deeper without sacrificing their watch's functionality. Ploprof is an abbreviation for plonger professional, which means diver in French. It was first used in the 1970s and quickly became popular. Its one-piece case construction made it impervious to water at great depths. The original could travel to 600 meters and to pressure for extended periods of time. There's no denying it has an unconventional appearance, but the design, which we admire, is what makes it practical. To the satisfaction of its clientele, Omega reissued the Prop Loft 1200 meter in 2009. Apart from being one millimeter larger and three millimeters taller, this new version is practically identical to its forerunner. However, as the name suggests, it is now capable of withstanding depths of up to 1200 meters underwater without incurring damage. The large orange hand is still there, as is the pusher that you need to press in order to rotate the bezel either way, both of which are now orange. It's a stunner that will attract attention in the water, but we doubt its owners will ever dive to the depths indicated. Number 2. Speedmaster Moonwatch – Dark Side of the Moon The Speedmaster is the second most recognizable line of Omega timepieces behind the Seamaster. The Speedmaster was first released in 1957 and has been continuously manufactured ever since. The Speedmaster Professional is the most popular model in the series. It is often called the Moonwatch. The watch that the astronauts on Apollo 11 wore while traveling to the moon is where its nickname came from. The Speedmaster Professional is still the only watch model approved for use during a spacewalk or extravehicular activity, EVA. Given that the name of the watch is Speedmaster, it's natural to wonder where the watch's long-standing connection to space came from. The collection's tashing meter bezel shows that it was originally made to be used as a chronograph for sports and races. This one-of-a-kind, dark side of the moon model stands out because of its stealthy black zirconium oxide ceramic casing and dial. The tachymeter is still present, but now it has a matte chromium nitride coating, and the phrase, dark side of the moon is inscribed on the case back, or on the viewport of the Omega coaxial caliber 9300. Number 3. Seamaster Aquaterra 150 meters. When the Seamaster Aquaterra line came out in 2003, it looked much better than the line it replaced. They looked more like dress watches, and the fact that they have patterned or graduated dials is a trademark of the series. The primary Aquaterra collection has timepieces that use a 41 mm dial in a variety of colors, as well as a variety of strap materials and colors. The 15,000 Goss edition is the only exception. It is genuinely unique. This is because the Omega coaxial caliber 8508 used in this Aquaterra can withstand magnetic forces of up to 15,000 Gausses without malfunctioning. If you're still confused, it indicates that this Aquaterra can function in spite of any magnetic fields on the planet. We think you'll agree that this is quite a feat. When magnetic forces get in the way of the precise movements inside a watch, the timepiece gradually loses its accuracy. Instead of using an anti-magnetic case as is common practice, Omega crafted the movement for this Aquaterra from non-ferrous materials. The end result is a mechanism that can withstand magnetic fields of up to 15,000 Gausses without losing its COSC certification. Despite its focus on just one aspect, this Aquaterra has many other attractive features, such as a black dial with contrasting yellow accents, which gives it a sportier appearance than the dress style of the other models in the series. Number 4. Seamaster Railmaster Omega released the Railmaster in 1957 along with the Speedmaster and the Seamaster. It was made for the less exciting fields of electrical engineering and science, so it felt like an outsider. The Railmaster may not seem as flashy as the Rolex Mogas, but its superior resistance to magnetic fields more than makes up for its lack of style. Although it has gone in and out of production since its inception, Omega finally introduced a new and improved Seamaster in 2017 at Baselworld. It's still there, and while that dashing variant is readily available, if you're looking for something a little out of the norm, consider this double denim version instead. This Seamaster Railmaster has all the trademarks of the series, only jazz up a touch, but is nonetheless unconventional and possibly more fashion-focused than Omega has been known for in the past. The blue jeans motif on the dial goes well with the denim NATO strap, 
which may be difficult to match with some outfits, but this is still a watch with its own distinct look. True to form, it is driven by the company's 8806 calibers and features the anti-magnetic qualities that make the Railmaster series so well-known. Number 5. Speedmaster Professional Moonwatch Sure, we've already highlighted a Speedmaster Moonwatch here, but we realize that the all-black model might not appeal to everyone. The other model required an original to copy, and this one just so happens to be perfect, and it's an icon in the most basic sense. The Speedmaster Professional has been around since 1957, when it was first introduced, and it's been in continuous production ever since. However, this 42mm moon watch with a steel case and band black display and isolite crystal is the most recognizable. A central chronograph hand and three subsidiary displays showing tiny seconds, 30 minutes, and 12 hours are all there and functioning as they should. The current iteration of the Speedmaster features a movement that has undergone some refinements since its moon landing but is otherwise identical to the original caliber 1861 was released in 1996 and is the current model. Based on the 861, this one gained an additional digit when it was rhodium plated. Both are direct descendants of the caliber 321, with all being based on Lamania movements. So that's it for the best Omega watches of this year. Like, comment, and subscribe to receive the notification of our latest videos.